Hey everybody, uh, I gotta do this quick video. There are two tools that I have not described yet in videos that I use. And I made a reference to one of them in my previous video about tarot cards and pop culture magic. Side altar. Now, if you look at this picture right here, you're going to see my altar, and right above it, I got all my Celtic god statues that I've made. That tall column, that's my side altar. It's part of my altar, but not part of my altar. Uh, let me explain that part. I am a firm believer that you can't just do everything overnight. I believe that for things to manifest properly, sometimes you have to be very patient. Such as with me making my own oracle deck for spell work. I believe that you can only make one card at a time and then it has to be manifested over a week's worth of time to draw in the energy for you to visualize in your head the effects you, they, that you want on the card. You're having sigils on the back, you're putting your name on back, kind of like a towel, how you'd make a talisman. Because in a way, this is a talisman sigil and all that so it takes time to manifest all that energy because you want it to succeed so like I said in the video you just can't print it off and that night go and I curse the blah 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 it won't work so site altar is a place where I put items that are needing to be energized empowered or something that I have to have long-term magical work with okay so that is the sole purpose of side altar now the other item that you see in the picture is the black box which is the wooden black crate that you see on top of my side altar it's getting energized the black box is meant to hold all of your items that will have a kind of a dark vibe to them, or what people would consider black magic, left-handed magic, things that are not meant to be positive. They have some ill will to them, okay? Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. There's a little darkness to these items. And so this is where they stay. The black box is meant to keep the the more negative intent and all that in the box, not outside the box where it can cross-contaminate with other things. I have a chest that is positive, and then I have my black box, which you see. Okay. What goes on the black box are things that um, are going to have kind of a darker intent to them. Um, like my spell tarot deck or oracle cards the ones that have a more negative effect like if the ten of swords if I was going to put some anguish into somebody's life when I'm not using it it goes into the black box I have my black tourmaline cube I gotta put it here so you guys can actually see it since I'm wearing my charcoal shirt this is a black tourmaline. Now, why would it go in the box? Black tourmaline is said to absorb darkness, negative energies, and all that. Okay? So, in some, in some ways, if you look at it right, it's a battery for dark energies. <laughs> now, when, it is also said that when this along with many other crystals and all that, when they are receiving moonlight, they release the dark energy. Well, I want to make sure this thing doesn't see any damn moonlight. So, I could have this out while I do some work or, you know, when I'm wanting to absorb some darkness. <laughs> but, then, I placed in my black box so that the energy that's inside of it stay inside of it until I want them released. 
interesting concept, huh? So maybe you have a talisman or something that has some um, more darker intentions. Goes in the black box. What else can go in the black box is also poppets. Voodoo dolls, you know. Like my former boss, John. I made a poppet of him a couple years ago. It's still in darkness. Every once in a while, I'll open up a, that box. I'll pull poor old John out. Just slap him across the face. Stick him back in there. And just go, still hate you, John. I still hate you, John. <laughs> But anyway, so the black box is used to hold your darker things, and you try to make it, and you're designing it in your head. You have it where it's a seal. It holds in the darkness so that it does not contaminate other items. You see, so many people just throw stuff in a drawer, and I think that's kind of foolish because of cross-contamination. Let's take, this is a poor example, I know. You have white and black paint, and you put them side by side, okay? When they touch, they are going to bleed into each other. And so you're going to start having this area of gray in between, all right? That's cross-contamination. The same thing will happen to your magical tools, crafts, and all that as well. So sometimes, you know, putting something that is dark right next to your sugar-coated love wand. It's not the smartest thing to do. So that's just an, a brief exp explanation of the two items that I use for my practice. Got to have a side altar because you need. There are things that should be uh, manifested over several days, several nights, maybe even a couple of full moons. But you can't disturb them to do another ritual. So my site altar is my long term and if I have a need to do a ritual or I'm at my altar honoring my gods, meditating and such, I'm not disrupting what's going on on my site altar. And then when everything's manifested, I can either put it in my good chest or my black box. Okay? I hope that makes some sense to everybody. Um, any questions, please put your comments below. Um, where did I get the box? I got it at the garage sale for 50 cents. Um, I cleaned it out, and you know, I mean, the inside's black, too. And so it's all ready for being used. I just cleansed it and now I'm energizing it. Okay. So please leave your comments below. Take care. Be at peace.